In this video, I want to talk about the concept of confidence intervals. So firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to explain how we work out what a confidence interval is for a parameter, and then I'm going to explain exactly what I mean by that. So the idea with least squares is that we get out some estimate of the parameter, which I'm going to call beta hat. But then instead of just stating a point value, we are going to state a range of values around that particular parameter. And the idea is that this has something to do with the sort of error which we have in that particular estimate. And let me explain exactly what I mean by that in a minute. So we can actually work out the lower bound and the upper bound of this particular confidence interval quite easily. To work out the lower bound, the lower bound is just, as it turns out, equal to beta hat minus some number delta, which I'm going to explain in a minute, times the standard error in beta hat. So let's assume that we were interested in working out a 95% confidence interval. So the idea here is that what our coefficient delta will represent, it would represent the 97.5% percentile of the T distribution. And the T distribution here would have n minus k degrees of freedom, where n is the number of observation and k is the number of independent variables in our model, including the constant. So that's how we work out the lower bound. The upper bound is just equal to beta hat plus this delta times the standard error in beta hat. And notice why we've chosen the 97.5 percentile of the t distribution because essentially we have got two of these so we've got two times two and a half percent a two and a half percent coming from the lower bound and a two and a half percent coming from the upper bound meaning that we have 95 percent uh, in total okay so that's how we actually work out the confidence interval and note that as the standard error in beta hat increases the confidence interval increases but what does it actually mean to have a 95% confidence interval? Well, the idea here is that if we have some sort of population, and then what we do is we take repeated samples from that population, so we take S1, and within that particular sample, we calculate our estimate or our least squares estimate of the parameter beta, which we call beta hat, and then we calculate our 95% confidence interval for that particular sample and then we repeat this so we take another sample from the population again we calculate our estimate of beta which I'm going to call beta hat 2 and then we calculate our confidence interval in that second sample so I'm going to call it confidence interval 2 and again it's a 95% confidence interval. So if we repeated this a large number of times this then elucidates the meaning of exactly what we mean by the confidence interval. Because if we were to repeat this a large number of times, then it would turn out that 95% of the time or 95% of our samples, the true population parameter would lie within the confidence interval, the 95% confidence in interval which would have been calculated on that sample, which is the sort of lower bound going up to the upper bound. So 95% of the time, the true population parameter would lie within that range. And notice that this doesn't mean that we are 95% confident that the parameter lies in that range. That's not what we mean at all, because we have no way of telling whether we are in a circumstance whereby beta p lies in that particular confidence interval which has been calculated for that particular sample, or whether it doesn't. So we have no way of telling which of the two situations we're in. All we know is if we repeated the process a large number of times and we can't calculate confidence intervals for each of those samples, then our true population parameter would lie in that range 95% of the time.